So you want to be a digital artist. I am here to tell you how you can start drawing digitally. FYI, some of these things do cost money, such as the tablet and some of the programs I mentioned. But I picked what I think is a really, really good program and what I used to do. This is the Wacom into a straw small. The pen pressure sensitive area is a bit smaller than a half sheet of paper, 6 inches by 3.7 inches to be exact. This tablet is around $80. I got mine at Best Buy. It's the cheapest of the Intuos line, and there are tablets that are around $50 or less from other companies, but I can't vouch for those because this is the only one I've used besides the school ones, but uh, Wacom doesn't sell bamboos anymore, at least not that I've seen. And now on to the programs. These are four really good programs. If you watched any of my speed paints, you see I use Paint Dual Size. That one is $50, and I'll leave a link in the description to where you can purchase it. I've also used Fire Alpaca, which is a free program, and it's good for beginners. Metabang Paint comes from the same company and is also free, but it has a few differences. Some people prefer it over Fire Alpaca, but I'll leave that up to you to figure out. Photoshop, uh, Photoshop CC. It really only comes with a monthly subscription, so I'm not sure how that works. Uh, so I wouldn't get it right away if you're just starting. I've used it through school and, well, I've used CS6, and it's what professional reviews along with Adobe products such as Illustrator and InDesign. I might make it another video going over the difference between the programs at the later date. Also, if you've seen the post uh, for the free Adobe CS2 programs, don't even try, that's not how, that's not available anymore. Uh, and there you are, a tablet and a program. It might take some time to get used to looking at the screen rather than looking down at your hand when you draw, but you should get used to it quick enough. You can keep your laptop or computer at a distance, uh, so you can have your tablet in front of it. Also, it's better for your eyes to keep the screen farther away, and I just think it's better to have a wider range of your arm. Uh, now I'm going to show you how I go about saving my digital art because it's more than just just drawing. Uh, depending on which program you download, it has different types of files to save for the layers. Fire Alpaca has MPD files, Sci has Sci files, and Photoshop has PSD files. If you use PSD, most programs can read that type of file if you open, so if you do save it, uh, in Sci or Fire Alpaca as a PSD, you can open it in Photoshop if you like are going between school and home and you're not going to buy Photoshop. But it's easier just to save it as using the default files if you're not going to go back and forth between programs. If you want to post it or print it, you'll want to save it as a JPEG or a PNG file. Uh, then you can upload it to your preferred social media. I use Tumblr for the most part, but Patreon for special things such as character designs, references, special il illustrations, etc, etc. I tag it according to content so it's easily searchable on my blog. Alright, cool you say. Now I have all of this and I want to be a YouTuber, like you. And yeah, I'm going to tell you how you can make videos by drawing digitally speed paints and doing something like that. I used Movie Maker from the 2012 Windows Essential Pack. Unfortunately, recently it was taken down, so you can't download it there. But I'm going to link in the description a website that is a safe way, and since it's not downloadable on the Minecraft, uh, Minecraft, Microsoft website. Uh, this is what Movie Maker looks like when it's open. You can add your videos, which I'll get to in a second, to how to get the videos and pictures. You can also do narration right in the program, which is what I use to do the voiceovers and end cards and stuff. It's also easy to add music as long as it's downloaded. Make sure it's not copyrighted music before you upload it to YouTube, because YouTube has shitty copyright laws. For recording, I use an old program called Hypercan 2. I'll put the link down in the description. The page looks strange, but it's not a virus. This is what Hypercam looks like when it's open. You can adjust the recording area, change whether you want to pick up mic sound, where you want the files to go, and what hotkeys you use to turn it on and off without the window having to be seen in the recording. At the end, I usually use the pause key, which is F3, and then open up the window and stop recording. 
And that's all you really need to know. I showed you a tablet I recommend, a few programs that you can download, and what I use to make my videos. I hope this helped you a lot. And feel free to at me on Tumblr, shoot me an ask, or comment below telling me what else you guys would be interested in. You should also show me when you get your tablet and the first things you draw on it. That would be really cool. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps when you start digital art. It's not the most inclusive video, but I think it works for a beginner. If you want to get better programs and better tablets, that's cool. I'm suggesting the cheapest way to start digital art. Especially if you're younger and you don't necessarily have a job. If you would consider donating monthly on my Patreon, that would be amazing. The link is below. For a few dollars each month, you have access to the special rewards on each tier like I mentioned earlier. Also, if you could follow me on Tumblr, subscribe, and hit that like button. Uh, thank you so much for watching.